Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing the new prequel Ascendance novel storyline being revealed in Gears 5. Gears of War Ascendance is a brand new novel book releasing sometime this year in 2019. It is officially the prequel to Gears 5 immediately starting after the events of Gears of War 4, following the storyline directly into the upcoming new Gears game. Recently there has been an update made to the listing of the new Ascendance novel with an info packed brand new description that gives us a huge insight into the world of Sarah as the news of the swarm starts to spread. The description itself reads as the following. With following Reyna Diaz's death at the hands of the swarm in Gears of War 4, Kate seals her mother's tomb and swears revenge. As she, JD, Dell, Marcus, Cole, Samantha and Baird lick their wounds to resupply, First Minister Jin summons them to Nuafira, promising that the crimes they committed will be forgiven. Before they can rejoin the Kershaw, however, Jin demands proof of their loyalty and of the threat of the new swarm. Promised a new command, JD and Dell agree, plagued by nightmares, Kate rebels and refuses. When she discovers that two teens from her devastated village have survived, she does go rogue and strike out to rescue them accompanied by Marcus Phoenix. Pursued by the robotic DBs, Kate and Marcus search for survivors, instead of finding an overwhelming force of the enemy and also an unexpected ally. Meanwhile, JD and Dell lead a mission to locate the swarm, only to be cut off from New Afira, trapped and surrounded there on their own. Picking up where Gears of War 4 left off, the Gears of War Ascendance is the official action pack bridge between that game and a Gears 5. Now even though the new Ascendance novel is taking place after the Gears 4 game, now that we've actually been able to play and experience it, we can see that uh, there's a lot more just plot holes within the game itself than we originally thought, which alongside this new novel description opens up a huge discussion and a ton of questions for the storyline going forward. Firstly, as we know, Reyna Diaz was killed off by Kate as she was all wired up and intertwined with the Swarm network. Being left inside, Kate most likely uses the mechs built by Damien Baird as part of DB Industries to seal up the tomb itself. First Minister Jin and the rest of the new coalition of ordered government still don't believe that the existence of the swarm is a thing, which is kind of expected at this point because seeing as how it was actually the swarm that were kidnapping hundreds if not thousands of cog humans for their own personal army and not the outsiders which Jin blamed as part of the outsider raids, it's been 25 years since the locusts were thought to be extinct and so the idea of a new monster-like species walking the planet once again after somewhat of a peace was finally achieved, I don't blame them. Kate Diaz experiencing nightmarish like dreams almost instantly following the events of Reyna Diaz dying just shows the huge inner bond and connection that Kate has to the swarm enemy and also as we saw in the Nightmare Remix E3 2018 trailer that released last year, the nightmare struggles that Kate has only grow stronger over time by the time that we do see her in the campaign in Gears 5 affecting her own reality which is maybe why Marcus Phoenix who accompanies her in this brand new adventure Adventure is just so passionate and caring towards Kate in the Gears 5 trailer. With JD and Kate going their separate ways for very opposite ends of the spectrum reasons, this is probably the beginning of the change in their relationship that we see from the end of Gears 4 going into Gears 5 where JD specifically goes from nothing but affection for Kate to hardly any emotion at all as the mission and objective becomes first before everything. The two teenagers from Kate's outside the village that she hears about that has survived and is alive is I would assume the two younglings called Mackenzie and Eli who was mentioned at the outside of village by the the young outsider known as William, who Kate acknowledges that weren't present at the village itself at the time of the DBs attacking because they were trading with the south outside of village, which is most likely where in the Ascendance novel Kate and Marcus do set out for. Lastly, Kate Diaz and Marcus Phoenix discovering a what sounds like very large swarm army force but also an unexpected ally. Sounds like it could be a few different possibilities but someone or something tied to either Kate or Marcus. The unexpected ally could range from a different human faction, old characters returning or maybe, which I would think would make a lot of sense, purely based on their last encounter and how it's always felt like there could always be a continuation of the story, an old enemy turned ally in the form of Aaron Griffin. Griffin was last seen back in char at the top of his Emulsion Corporation tower as he flipped off a Delta squad leaving on into the wilderness inside a cable car. Griffin did mention that him and Marcus Phoenix would settle their dispute once again another time, so what more perfect way than having him team up once again against a swarm. 
please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your opinion on the Ascendance novel book and how it acts out as a prequel leading into the next Gears game? As I've been working on this video for you guys, the official Gears of War Twitter account did share an important message by tweeting out the following. The wait is almost over. See you at hashtag Xbox E3, hashtag Gears 5. So there you have it guys, my full discussion and speculation on the prequel Ascendance novel storyline being revealed going into Gears 5. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next one.